Libras, and welcome to your February 2020 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to speak to you about your energies coming in February. I like what is coming up for you all. Um, it's really bright. I think um, you do have the devil as your central theme, but other than that, there are so many wonderful, wonderful things coming in, and it's almost like when things get so good, you um, can see the remaining cracks so vibrantly. Um, so February is going to treat you really well. You're going to be going through the time of your fellow air sign. It is Aquarius time, which I think Aquarius time is so good for you guys. Um, and so truthful and so honest. I think that you are uh, beautiful. I think you're getting more beautiful here. I think that you are coming more into contact with like an image or a projection that you have really esteemed or wanted for a really long time. So congratulations on that, Libra. You also have your own major arcana card in the reading this month. You have justice. So your energy is um, easily available. All of the cards are upright for you this month. I think that you are going to find February to be a nice respite and a nice um, coming back to yourself, basically. Um, so what do I want to talk about first for you all? Um, it's going to be so important to start over with something. Um, it's going to be so important to maybe restart or recommit yourself to an old goal. And at the same time, turning it into something new, taking the expertise that you have and going in a new direction with it feels very recommended for you. Um, it's also really recommended for you to um, sort of register what has happened. What do I mean? It's um, like registering who has been kind to you, registering who has been unkind to you. You've got six of pentacles and four of pentacles as well as justice in your reading, which says to me that you're calculating or you're um, making your rounds, um, calculating the sum of your relationships, basically, uh, putting two and two together, piecing things together, solving some kind of puzzle. Um, so there's a formulaic aspect to you this month, and um, it will ultimately benefit you quite a lot. You will also perhaps have the urge to look back or to look to a turned back. Um, the Three of Wands in your reading indicates to me that you are uh, maybe looking at somebody who has their back turned to you or looking towards somebody who is no longer present in your life for information or for recommendations. And I think that between now and the end of the astrological year, between now and March 21st, you want to really make your final amends with these old systems and old situations that are no longer um, worth your time. Because again, everything that you're doing this month will kind of represent itself in the devil archetype, which is just um, basically repetitive nature, um, addictive tendencies, feeling like you are connected to something and you can't get free of it. So I do perhaps see a, a um, an addiction to the past or an addiction to nostalgia, an addiction to sentimentality, which is interesting because I don't typically see that for your sign. This is not a very Libra-esque trait, but nonetheless, it is here during this uh, Capricorn time that we went through. It's almost like it's developed this almost like sentimentalism within you or this, um, this strong emotional connection to where you've been before and connecting that and comparing it to where you are now. So um, what is honest and great here for you, Libra, in February is your ability to clean, your ability to purify, your ability to um, clean all over again, or to um, cleanse something as if it were the first time. The Queen of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Fool the way that they're coming up to me uh, together to me indicate again like this incredible ability to just enjoy the process of becoming healthy okay um and again with devil as the central theme it is beautiful to see that you are not hiding either from what is wrong and that you're not hiding or denying or enabling the cracks within your healing process. So you are looking at everything for what it is, Libra, and I'm very proud of that. I think that that shows you really well. And what is shown to me to be really um, taking that to the next level for you and making you feel even more healed and even more strong and even more healthy toward the end of the month 
is by not shying away from the problem areas. So for example, you see that you've been um, um, maybe really addicted to healing in the sense that, you know, maybe you've been taking herbal medicine or maybe you've been um, uh, doing a detox diet or something and that has now become an addiction and it's like, okay, I'm actually causing harm with this detox. Now it's time to just forget about it. It's time to just start to employ um, these healing methods that I have in a passive way and in a way that is not so um, like me getting my fill. I'm not getting my fill through something that is purging the fill, if that makes sense. Because again, we're holding on to something too. I do sense grasp. There are a lot of grasping energies in this reading. The Devil, Four of Pentacles, even Queen of Pentacles in a way can be grasping. Uh, Three of Wands, we're holding on. Temperance, we're holding on to the cups. The Fool, we're holding on to the rucksack. And then in Six of Pentacles, it's like we're holding on to the resources. So the, what are you holding on to this month, Libra? Um, what are you keeping register of and what are you holding back as well? That would be an interesting thing to look at. Um, but to just move quickly through the week to week, week number one is that Six of Pentacles rooted down by Knight of Wands. There are creative ways to um, to clear debts or to clear um, what you owe. So do you owe something to somebody? Do you owe something to yourself? Do people owe you? There are creative solutions to these deficits, okay? Um, the idea of having deficit, that's an interesting one for you all. Like, where, where do you feel deficit? Where do you feel like you don't have enough? Is it money? Is it relationship? Is it love? Is it health? Is it a little bit of everything? Is it something unknown, perhaps? I, I, I dig that. I dig that for you, Libra, sort of an unknown deficit. Very, it's very mysterious and sexy in its way with the devil as your central theme too. There's something, there's almost like an eroticism about your um, deficits right now. So we're getting deep, we're getting psychological, we are getting, some might even argue Freudian in your reading this month. But yeah, week number one is like a passionate time too. It's a time perhaps even of like sexual healing for some of you. Um, so that can come about in creative ways and that can, you can see even that just by painting something or by um, eating a certain type of food that that old wound is um, healed all of a sudden. So that's kind of beautiful as well. Week number two, Libras, Justice, rooted down by the Fool. Huge, huge time for you. Two major arcana cards, your major arcana card, Justice, rooted down by the zero, the the unknown, the drive, the 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 fact that we don't really know where we come from, the Fool. Um, so there's maybe a little bit too much of trying to like classify or qualify um, things that are meant to be unknown or are meant to be um, unseen. We might, as Libras, be working really hard on drawing up a contract or drawing up a resolution or a plan, a strategy even within the unknown and sort of chartering unknown territories. Believe it or not, that is part of your archetype. Um, you are on the Aries Libra axis, which uh, Aries is the pioneering sign. It's about new territory. Um, so Libra deals with this as well. So what are what, what's the new territory for you, Libra, in the second week? What is the new um, the new pioneering thing you've never done before that you just have to do here? That could be um, rewarding, but you might not want to stay there for too long, but you've got a chance, okay? Week number three, Libras, three of three of wands, rooted down by Queen of Pentacles. Um, so I like it when a, uh, like for example, three of wands in the third week, I like that chronological synchronicity. Um, so you're doing something right by default, but I would like to suggest that you turn your gaze to your own path, okay? Um, are we really obsessing with the path of somebody else? Are we um, following behind somebody who was never right for us? Are we um, are we associating our sense of authenticity, you know, Queen of Pentacles? I find it interesting her face is covered by the devil card. Um, are we associating that authenticity? It's like the, the face of authenticity is occluded by something unknown. Um, so not to sound ominous to you guys, but there is something a bit ominous about it, and you're figuring that out, Libra. Um, your energy is very, very fascinating this month. I will just say that I'm in a space that I don't typically go as a reader, and I find it very alluring as well. There's like a, a sort of seductive, dark, alluring magic within your energy this month, and it's not even dark. I wouldn't call it dark. It's 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 a blackness, but it's also 
um, there are lights within that that really create beautiful shadows. So here you are in the third week, Libra. Find your own sense of authenticity, please. Find something that is just yours. Find something that is just not like like for example, you know how some people um, when they get into a relationship, okay, um, they will start to want to be what the other person wants them to be. Like we, you might see somebody who can't cook at all, and they get into a relationship. And the person they want to get into the relationship with loves food. So all of a sudden, oh my gosh, I've got to learn how to cook. I've got to learn how to be the best chef so that this person loves me. Um, this type of thing, Libra, I'm getting chills, is something that we need to leave behind, okay? Serving others, right? Um, being the variable of somebody else's life. Being the chef to earn the person's love who likes cooking, despite not having a cook's heart or a chef's heart. Um, this is vital, okay? Vital, vital evolution for you. It's like the things that you love. Maybe, for example, hypothetically, if you love um, dancing or if you love um, doing YouTube videos, whatever it is, um, or if you love being the CEO of that company, it's nice to develop that even further in the face of being in the relationship with the person who just wants the person who can cook, okay? It's like, I, I love being the CEO, and this person who's interested in me wants me to be the chef or the cook. I'm going to become that much better of a CEO. And to not turn away from that is something that blossoms you, um, because you really weed out the people who are actually in this for you versus the people who want to be served, okay? Um, not to say there are times where we need to expand our horizons and where, you know, maybe it's fun for the CEO to take the cooking class, but that's not what I feel for you guys. I feel that you guys are willing to sacrifice what you're really meant for to please others, and we, we, we want to get out of that here, right? Week number four, four of pentacles rooted down by temperance. Um, it suddenly, like the, the, the sky starts to clear as you go through the middle of February, the sky starts to clear and you come out of it on the other side saying, okay, I was holding on to something. Okay. I, there was a grudge there. There was, um, you know, that person from 20 years ago or that person from five years ago always wanted me to be the chef. And now I make myself cook foods I don't even like every day. Um, <clears throat> and my business has suffered and I'm not the CEO anymore because I still need to get their approval, even though they're not here anymore. There's like this peaceful, angelic energy that comes in and comforts you and says, that's not how it is, Libras. That's not how it is. And sometimes, I think especially during Aquarius time, <laughs> for Libra, to be told no, or to be told that, wait, hold on, hold on a second, Libras. Um, it did not quite can just be the most, like, thank God moment. Do you guys know what I mean? Thank God I didn't have to be the, the person cooking and slaving away at the stove. Or um, vice versa. Thank God I didn't have to turn myself into that, like, entrepreneurial person who's never satisfied with any number or never satisfied with any engagement or any result. Thank God I can still cook or whatever. Again, this isn't about these, these hypo hypotheticals. Um, maybe cooking is the best thing for you. That's great. Um... But there's, a, there's an element of, like, thank God in that fourth week, Libras, and um, it will not betray you, okay? Um, you do need to let go of something. I will let you in on that. Um, some debts can just kind of get foreclosed on during that time. Maybe somebody owes you something, and you know it's never going to come. Or maybe you owe somebody something, and you, um, you just do it. You know, you just pay it, and that's that. And you wake up on the other side of it, and it's like nothing really feels that different, does it? But it, it does change. And these subtle attachments or these subtle mm, shackles, okay? Subtle shackles with the devil start to unclench themselves. And there's a freedom of movement that you probably won't even realize you have until it's like going strong. And how awesome, Libras, how awesome to see that uh, those subtle shackles just disintegrate when you um, thank God for for um, being told no sometimes, all right? 
and that I can't put it in any simpler layman's terms than that, Libra. I'm going to conclude your reading on that note. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this more like um, warm reading. There's a, there's a dark sort of chocolate re uh, feeling to me about this energy, and I love it. You guys should indulge yourselves in some way, in some like healthy... A restorative rejuvenating way this month i think that you're beautiful i think that you have access to something that nobody else does energetically and i think that that's um a nice little secret that we can share so <laughs> thank you so much for being here libras be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel um to get these readings uh every month and, and get notified when they come in if you wanted to jump over to patreon and support this channel uh with a uh, monthly subscription and get these readings early and ad free i would be forever grateful and i have a few other things available there too i do daily updates on twitter and i um have an ebook as well. So all of that is below. Thank you guys so much for being here. We will be talking soon. Great luck, Libras. Bye.